next week marks the start of the SF Film Festival, now in its 61st year. The festival promises a powerful lineup of films and documentaries about art, life, and culture from around the world and the Bay Area. This year's centerpiece work comes from Boots Riley, an Oakland native who studied film at San Francisco State University. Riley's directorial debut, Sorry to Bother You, takes on race, humor, and telemarketing. I just really need a job. 40 on two. This is telemarketing. Stick to the script. Hey, hello. Uh, Mr. Davison, cash the screen here. Sorry to bother. Let me give you a tip. You want to make some money here? Use your white voice. My white voice? I'm never talking about Will Smith's wife. Like this young blood. Hey, Mr. Kramer. This is Langston from Regal View. And joining me now are the executive director of SF Film, Noah Cowan, and Bay Area musician and filmmaker Boots Riley. Great to have you both here. I love that greeting. <laughs> <laughs> well, the main character in the movie is an African-American telemarketer yeah. who uh, skyrockets to success after he uses his white voice, as we just saw that clip. H how would you define this movie? Um, it's an absurdist, dark comedy with magical realism and science fiction inspired by the world of telemarketing. It's called Sorry and, to Bother You. So. <laughs> and, and you were a telemarketer at one point, right? Yeah, a couple different points. <laughs> and, and what was that like? How much of that experience is in this movie? Uh, I think that's the jumping off point for a lot of ideas. Um, and it's not a biographic, autobiographical movie at all, but you know, you use experiences from your life. Yeah. And, and Noah, why did you choose Sorry to Bother You as the centerpiece film? For the well, there's lots of reasons, but this guy sitting to my right is the main one. I think Boots Riley has been this incredibly important force in the culture of the Bay Area. And this film really encapsulates, I think, not just what's kind of incredible about this uh, region, um, and particularly the city of Oakland, um, but how it's developed and how we can actually talk about that in, the ter in terms that are new and fresh and really expressive. Uh, this film was actually part of our, um, our film house and film granting programs at SF Film. And we couldn't be more proud that something um, like Sorry to Bother You has come out of these programs. It really does speak to the vibrancy and the precision of what we're trying to do here in making movies in the Bay Area. Yeah, Film House, San Francisco Film Society really, uh, SF Film, uh, really made it possible to do this because one, they not only gave uh, the project money, yeah. but they gave me office space to sit and work and, 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 and you got up. it to Sundance before this, so congratulations on that. Yes. Um, but I also want to talk more about how the film was made. You're from the Oakland. You, the film is set in Oakland. The hero in this film is often torn between two worlds, right? Needing to sound white for the job, but act black, wanting to make money, but wanting to stay true to his friends and where he came from. How much of that resonates true with your life? Well, I think that, uh, you know, the sacrifices that we have to make in order to just survive is something that resonates with everyone. Um, the film is not just about that, though. The, the trailer actually doesn't reveal most of what the film is about. There are quite and, a few surprises in the yeah, film. We won't and, spoil it, but. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and, and, but, but I think that in my life, I'm always trying to figure out whether I'm doing the right thing or not. And I'm always constantly reassessing. So uh, I think that's a, you know, uh, uh, very much a part of me mm -hmm. in there. And then Noah, let's talk about the festival more broadly because uh, you have said that the festival wants to highlight Bay Area values and among them diversity, innovation, social justice. One of the films is a documentary about Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg and I want to show a clip from that. The bull in the shop, we welcome today Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. She's become such an icon. Would you mind signing this copy? I am 84 years old, and everyone wants to take a picture with me. <laughs> Notorious RBG. Yeah, yeah. So why did you choose that film for the festival? You know, we're here, we've been talking about this Bay Area icon, Boots Riley, but another icon for people here in San Francisco in the Bay Area is Ruth Bader Ginsburg. She's been this kind of light during this very dark political time we're going through right now. And uh, this is one of those stand up and shout and cheer documentaries. It just makes you feel like it's all gonna be better in the end. So I think at the Castro, when the, we actually play this film during the festival, 
during its theatrical release. It's going to be this real comfort for a lot of people, but I think also you're going to be seeing a lot of people standing up and cheering for this incredible woman. And something new you're doing this year is hosting discussions around certain films. For example, The Cleaners, which is about who decides what we see online. Uh, let's take a look at a clip from that as well. Facebook has a bigger population than any state in the world. And so when it acts as censor, it is in some ways as powerful as a state. Ignore. 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 If I didn't have social media, I wouldn't be able to get the word out. I probably wouldn't be standing here, right? I probably wouldn't be standing here right now. Mark Zuckerberg is now the front page editor for every newspaper in the world, effectively. So you're partnering with the Electronic Frontier Foundation for a discussion about this movie. What are you hoping to accomplish through that? I think what we're trying to do here with uh, SF Film in general, because we have screenings throughout the rest of the year, we're supporting filmmakers, we engage in educational programs, is really to try to channel what we call Bay Area values into the work that we're doing. And one of the most important things we can do here in the Bay Area is actually talk about technology, its impact, and how it's actually changed our society. Um, you know, without revealing any spoilers, one of the really key aspects of Sorry to Bother You is this ex extremely sophisticated critique of how the sort of venture capitalism and uh, technology has actually really altered how we view morality. And I think what's been going on with Facebook over the last couple of weeks is also kind of really reinforced that we really need to pay attention to this. So The Cleaners is a film that actually talks about this... Uh, kind of farm of people in the Philippines that actually scrubs the internet. And so it goes through and finds, you know, pornographic images or offensive speech. And, you know, these people who live in a very, very different culture than what, we're, what we have here in the United States, um, you know, are, are sort of subjected every day to the sort of worst of American capitalism in a way. Um, what's great about the Electronic Frontier Foundation is that we um, have these incredibly interesting partners who can actually talk about the larger context around these techno technology concerns. And um, very complex issues, yeah. Very complex about issues. privacy, how to protect it, how to balance that yeah. with freedom of speech. It's huge. So we began working with them on the amazing documentary that won an Academy Award, Citizen Four, by Laura mm -hmm. Poitras, about Edward Snowden. Um, and we've actually been engaging them on a fairly regular basis to sort of come back as guests of ours to actually, you know, continue to illuminate us here in the Bay Area and kind of allow us to be leaders in this kind of critique of what's going on in the technology yeah. industry. Okay. And, and Boots, just real quickly, any more movies for you after this first film? Uh, yeah. I'm starting, more? starting to write stuff now. So, well, all right. Yeah. Well, uh, this is we just an expansion of everything I've already been doing. We, we look forward to seeing your next work. And uh, SF Film Festival running from April 4th to the is there 17th. More of this vodka? Thank you both. <laughs> um, whiskey is up next, but thank you for, for um, enjoying the vodka. <laughs>